Hi, this is Julian and welcome for a new tutorial on Darktable. I'm going to show you how to change the season of a landscape. Um, I'm going to show you with two different methods that are very easy uh, to use, um, pretty much straightforward. So let's switch to the darkroom and then uh, we've got two modules. I've got all my modules activated uh, actually. So they're going to be found now in this tab, it's the color group. So first we're going to use color zones and obviously if you want to change the uh, the season it's pretty much uh, changing a color and most of the time it's going to be green obviously on the landscapes. So just to make sure on which part of the color wheel I want to work I'm going to use uh, the color picker. So by default it's a one point evaluation okay and this is where in the color wheel this pixel here uh, is. I want to change to uh, area and say I want you to analyze this here and just to make sure the green I want to I want to change are in the correct part of the color wheel. So it's all going to be in this part it seems. So let's switch to you and then switch the greens to something a bit more uh, range and maybe in lightness make it a bit darker. So now as you can see we already changed and we've done quite a lot. So there's another way to do it. Uh, so we're going to deactivate the uh, color zones and collapse the panel and go to the color lookup table and the icon is not very easy to recognize but it's called color lookup table. So what it's going to do is going to separate uh, different colors and instead of adjusting with HSL it's going to adjust with lightness, green red, blue yellow which is exactly what we can find in the LAB mode plus we've got the saturation. So we can use one of the preset, one of the pre-made uh, patch, it's called a patch and I think this green should be okay. So now if we switch to range instead of uh, green, as you can see we can again adjust um, uh, the green and change the overall, the overall season. The overall perception we have of this picture is completely different because we changed the green. Now just in case you want to make sure uh, you uh, adjusting the correct color, I'm going to reset the parameters uh, in the color, color lookup table and just to show you by default it looks like this what you can do is again use the uh, um, the color picker uh, with the area and it says dark table says well this is the green you, you're looking for but if you don't believe him <laughs> you can do a shift click on one of the zones to uh, get a proper patch so this is the exact green i'm changing as you can see this green is a bit well greener this one is a bit uh, yellow uh, yellowish. So now I can adjust this patch and shift toward orange and I think the result is a bit better. So if you right click you can remove patch, if you click you can create patch, if you shift click you are going to replace um, the patch with the color you have sampled with the color picker. So it's a very uh, very easy to use uh, once you know it actually and very powerful. So now if we do, uh, if we change the evaluation to here and shift click for this kind of gray maybe we can push the sky towards some blue because it's a bit unsaturated and adjust the lightness so the sky is a bit more dramatic and what I would do is maybe um, use a local contrast and if I push the details now this photo is gonna pop really all the details are going to pop and protect the highlight and that's it we're gonna take a snapshot and compare to the base curve which is um, the before and after so let me just switch that oh I switched to the light table I wanted to yeah change the before and after so this is before and this is after so I show you how to do it with two uh, modules we could have done it with other methods as well. Uh, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of modules in Darktable which is uh, really great in this uh, in this free software. But I wanted to show you this because it's very easy to use, uh, pretty straightforward uh, and answer the question, how do I change the season of my landscape? So if you want to train with this particular photograph, you can download it on my website. If you go to uh, julienpons.com, you've got the link in the description down below. 
um, you've got to uh, subscribe uh, to um, agree and agree to the uh, to the terms of the Creative Commons license. Then you can use my file to uh, train with this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I guess you're watching on YouTube right now, so don't forget to subscribe. I publish a uh, tutorial. Uh, once a week, at least once a week, um, I've got more because I also publish in French, but in English, it's at least once a week. I publish on the Creative Cloud, I publish on Luminar, on Affinity Photo, and I have a dedicated playlist on free software for digital retouching and photography. So don't forget to check that playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the, t in the, um, in the comments section uh, just down below. I'll be... Um, I'll be hanging uh, out there for a while and see uh, how I can help. But anyway, see you in the next time. Uh, see you next time for a next tutorial on Darktable. Bye-bye. <laughs>